G'day, g'day everybody, Rob Blurt here, Outback Vaping. I hope you're all having a bloody ripper day. Um, got a throwback for you today, and I mean a throwback for you. All the way back from uh, 2013, so... It's uh, an unused, untouched mod, still friggin' brand spanking new. It's the Tiger Squonk by FLHS. Never heard of the bastards before, but looking forward to getting into it. Nice little box it comes in. It's a squawk mod. It takes 2700s and uh, something from back in 2013. That's a uh, yeah, pretty pretty cool accomplishment. So I will have to say, I really like the right up on the back. So when we take it down, I'll give it a read out quickly because uh, I reckon we should see more of this on today's products, especially the mechanical. Well, on today's mechanical mods. So we'll flip it. We'll open the box, we'll get in there, have a sticky beat, and uh, yeah, I've had this for about a year now, and itching to use it, so <laughs> I've just been a slack bastard and haven't got around to it, so I need another squonk mod, time to get the thing out and give it a go. Alright, let's flip this thing. Alright, here we go, up we are. Alright, here we go. Uh, Tiger Squawk Mold Box by FLHS. Let's pop this open. Oh, hang on. Flip her over first. Flip her over first. Here we go. What have we got here? For advanced users only, when using mechanical mods, please be sure that you know dangers of not having circuit protection. Rebuildable atomizers and mechanical mods require a basic knowledge of Ohm's law. Lithium batteries can be volatile and vent or explode, causing injury and damage to property. This can happen if the batteries are not handled properly, if the resistance level of your coils is too low, or in the event of short circuit, <clears throat> and never use a battery that shows signs of leaking, overheating, or one that is damaged in any way. By purchasing and using a mechanical device or lithium battery from our store, you will agree to take full liability and responsibility for its use. Fucking awesome. Really like that. Love how it's fucking just out there in your face. So... Cool, give them credit for that. So when we open the box, we'll take the lid off, sorry guys. <coughs> Throw that away. Open the box. First thing we get is a uh, certificate, authentication card, fucking whatever you want to call it, and take that out of the bag. It's not a bit of fucking paper, it's like a fucking credit card. So that's fucking awesome. I like that. Nice little... So here we go. Serial number 1031. Date third month 2013. Signature FLHS. And that is not printed on there. That is definitely handwritten. So I dare say these things have been checked out. Now, as I said, it's back from 2013, but it is brand spanking fucking new. Piss this off. Oh, hang on. And we got an extra panel in here. So we'll sit this down here off to the side for a second. How's that sound? Might look scratched to shit, but if you have a look at this, we have still got that protective coat on both panels. I did do a little bit of looking into this. And, um, yeah, I wanted it mainly because she's a, it's a 2700 or 18650. Uh, both fit in here absolutely piece of piss, as far as I know. Nice, nice deep engraving. Uh, that's a bit of... Do you like that? Feels really nice. It's got like a rough textured sort of feel to it. Now, this is actually made from Bakelite, so, shit, uh, anybody pre-80s would pretty much know what Bakelite is, it was used in all your electrical appliances back in the day, uh, your connections, light switches, uh, a lot of the old connections in roofs are made out of Bakelite, so, yeah, <clears throat> I do know for a fact the more this gets used, the more it should get a little bit more shiny and clean up a little bit, just like the old Bakelite did. Nice bit of a stiffness to that. 
we'll see if we can get underneath this in a sec off with the door three magnets and this one only has two so but it will not didn't notice that just then see if we can get it in here a little bit closer for you see how the magnets there's one there one there and one there so the actually there we go on that angle you can actually see where they've put the picture on top of the magnet before they've put the clear over the top so i really like that absolutely like love that idea and i'll take oh this always gives me goosebumps getting to do this look at that look at that look at that <clears throat> beautiful absolutely beautiful it's done now she's off all righty then look at that i will have to say that is really nice it's honestly i don't even think you need the magnets that clips in there beautifully just real nice machining real tight fit <coughs> let's try this other one out see if that how that looks and once again oh, do apologize here we go slide him down a bit oh listen to that just clicks in place once again real real tight fit nice machining now that i've done that i'm gonna have to do this oh love that feeling look at that just a nice finish once again they've put a bit of coloring on top of the magnets and yeah i will be uh, rocking the other door definitely tiger theme is definitely prominent inside we have a really really soft nice squishy silicon bottle copper connection and we'll pop this bottle out oh she's stiff threading on that's actually really nice really really nice so you can see she's been sitting there for a while uh, unused but that's all about to change might have to get myself a new bit of hose though it's a nice bottle I do like that all right so pretty standard for a lot of squonk mods unscrew that and you'll be able to take your connection out I do like how they've actually given you a positive and negative they want you to put your positive towards the bottom i dare say that's for venting purposes other than that wouldn't actually really matter being a mechanical mod which way you put it in to be honest so very nice and they've got the now this here like a little locking mechanism you can put it around like that nothing you'll be able to go back like that line him up and that should fire nicely we have an adjustable let's just see definitely not spring loaded not spring loaded but it is adjustable flathead screwdriver so pretty basic pretty simple uh, usually anything with copper contacts like that hits pretty good nice little simple way of doing the locking mechanism is just a bit of heat shrink around the thing so pretty basic pretty simple not much to show off on the inside damn i do like that engraving get that in close very very nicely done i'll go side by side you can definitely see that they've used the same tiger for the lot so all right got an rda uh, b2 b2k v5 with one of my uh 0.1 singles in there so we'll flip her back up put an rda on it and see how this thing bloody well roaches all right back up top
nice quick and easy down the bottom. As I said, this is gonna be this is gonna be a pretty bloody quick review. Alright. Let's grab a 2700, sorry, 2650 and a 1650. So, uh, 2650, nope, they don't fit. 18650, they don't fit. Ooh, uh, sorry, 2700 is what I need. Bloody idiot. Alright, put that back, put that back. There you go, got it all wrong. Need a 2700. Uh, 2700. We have a 2700 right here. ODB rat. Old dirty bastard. Just like me. Have a drink. I will follow their recommendations and have the positive side down. It is very very nice fit definitely would not be able to get a 21700 in there you have a look there is very little playroom so got my squonk bottle and we'll rock a little bit of my DIY lemon lime soda well lemon lime spider sorry it's a lemon lime soda that's got a bit of vanilla bean ice cream in with it same way i always fill me squat bottles do the good old flip method and they are using arctic dolphin bottles on these so just so people know in case they're curious which is handy for me for future references all right bang slide that in oh now it's got a little bit of lubrication on it absolutely beautiful all right that's in rip raw and ready to go put a door on it Still, nice, flush, beautiful little finish on it. Let's grab the B2K. I've got something on the bottom here. Ah, there we go. Just had a little bit of fluff stuck to the bottom of it. B2K is in place. Let's see if she fires. Nah, I'll have to wind that pin out a little bit more, I reckon. The only one of the pain in the ass with these types is uh, having to do the 510 adjustment. So, done about. We're rocking. So, and I will know how this hits in comparison because I've been have been rocking the B2K lately on the cloak. So that's my go-to squonk that and the uh, Hellfire. So let's see how this holds up. Definitely hits well. Definitely hits well. Being the copper contact and that, it's got um it have good voltage transference from the battery feels really nice in the hand very small actually it's, um, cloak tiger it's pretty much on par so it's a little bit taller a little bit wider and tiniest bit skinnier tiniest bit skinnier so but this does take a 21700, not just 2700. So, nice. Feel and button. It's actually got like a little, 
looks like a little point smack dead in the middle of the button i don't know if you can there you go you should be able to start to make that out you can actually feel that little point it's not sharp or anything but it's there like you you know it's there there's it comes up to the central point you can feel that but See how she squonks. No juice coming out the sides. Coil saturated. Mm. I do like that bottle. Very, very nice bottle in that. Very, very similar feel to the one in the Hellfire. A little bit softer. So. It's a bit worried that it might have problems with the sucking back. Oh, I've over skunked there. And I just lost my drip tip. Uh, my top cap. <laughs> Here we go. Back again. But beauty ring somewhere else. I'll find that in a second. No point stressing. No point crying over spilt milk, don't they say? If you know about the B2K, you get plenty of them. Juice definitely shows up on this thing, but it seems to dissipate and disappear really quick. It's almost like it soaks it up or something. It just doesn't feel slimy or anything. So yeah, really comfortable in the hand for a finger fire. Um, You could thumb fire it if you wanted, I suppose. But definitely a finger fire shaped mod. So yeah. We have the Tiger Squawk 2013. Brand spanking new. First time she's been fired. First time she's been used. You seen me take the plastic off. Some of the most fucking sexy engraving that I've seen. And uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by. Once again, I'm Blurt, Rob, Outback Vaping, whatever you want to bloody well call me. Hope you have a bloody ripper day and I'll scratch a crater. See you soon. Leave us a dislike or a like, whatever you want. Scratch a crater.